afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our first lesson. It is Feeling the Zen, Lines and Art, and we're focusing on the element of line this time around. My name is Mrs. B, Mrs. Boningcamp, Mrs. Ramirez, whichever one you want to go with. Most of the kids call me Mrs. B. So let's go ahead and get started. As we go on and start our first assignment, Again, we are focusing on the element of design of art, which is line. And the line is the very base of what we make when it comes to artwork. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. So again, the title of this is Feeling the Zen, Lines and Art. We're going to be using doodles and line drawings in order to make something really cool. Elements of art. Again, we are going over line, and there are a remarkable amounts of lines that you can use in art. And a line is simply a mark that begins from point A and moves on to point B. So it can be a straight line, a vertical line, wavy, scribbly, curly, curved, spiraled, whatever you wanna make it, it still starts from one point and ends at another. If you go an infinite route, Physically, technically, we can't go with a physical with a uh, infinite line, but it is something that could, in a sense, happen. Zen is a form of a Japanese school of Mahayana Buddhism, emphasizing the value of meditation and intuition. So it is being at peace with oneself and working on our inner calmness. Zen tangle is going to be a form of meditative doodling. So we are basically drawing without really thinking about it or stressing about it. We're just getting lost in the process of creating an artwork. And then doodle here at the very bottom is to draw without planning or thinking ahead of time. So it really ties into the idea of Zen tangle and creating patterns to make this really cool artwork. The art of Zen. What is the practice of meditation? Many of us lead a very busy life. So what would meditation look like for you? Why would one want to meditate? Meditating for a lot of people helps bring an inner calmness or peacefulness that perhaps you don't get out in the world. As an adult, I can admit to it being fairly difficult to take a moment to breathe in a quiet room let alone do it for five minutes straight or do it for a longer amount of time. Most of the time, people sit in a dark room and try to focus on one thing, which is peace. Some people listen to music. Some people do breathing exercises. In the materials list, I've included a meditative video for three minutes, and I would like for you to try that out and see how that feels for you. Was it a challenge to sit in the quietness? Or was it nice and calming to sit and focus on your breathing and your body position? Go ahead, give it a try. Click on the link that I've included in our materials resources. Doodling is good for the mind. Doodle, the act of drawing without a plan. So why doodle in art? Personally, I doodle whenever my mind is too busy or too bored. So if I am sitting at a lecture when someone's talking for an extended amount of time, if I need to focus or I'm really tired and I feel like I'm going to fall asleep during that lecture, I doodle in a book, a sketchbook particularly, or on a scrap piece of paper. Really, you can doodle anywhere. And this can range from little cartoon characters to patterns like zigzags, stripes, polka dots, to just random marks on a piece of paper. It also helps for an artist to doodle to really build on their creativity. So if you're stuck and can't think of any new ideas, doodling is the way to go to kind of get you unstuck from that mindset where you can't really think of anything new to do. Um, don't worry about the Zentangle camouflage exercise. We'll go ahead and skip over this part here. 
But what we are going to focus on as we move along here, and after you watch the video that's pretty short about mine, is we are going to create an artwork around our names. Uh, here are a couple of examples. On the top one, we see Felix, and there's a lot of cool doodles going on around here, a lot of patterns, and it makes the name stand out. We also have one down here that says Mars. So that might be someone's last name that they're using. And they used a lot of doodles for the background to make the letters stand out in that white lettering. Here's another example, Nirmala. And this specific person used a bunch of flowers and swirls and all these little doodles to make their name stand out even more. Now, this project here is called What's My Name Zentangle? And the purpose of this project is for you to meditate while you're doodling. So kind of getting lost in doodling and being calm and just taking a moment to just make art without a plan ahead of time other than drawing your name. So after drawing your name in a fancy font, so in fancy letters, you will be doodling in the background with pen if you have that. If you don't, you may go ahead and use a pencil, uh, whatever you have available at home. And if you don't have any blank white paper, you can use notebook paper. If you have a sketchbook, you can use that. Um, or even if you have cardboard that you want to draw on, you can do that. Just try your best to make your name look as fancy as possible. We have Reagan here who decided in the background she was going to separate her back by doing a bunch of swirls. And then Reagan uh, decided to go and do patterns in each side of those little squirrel, uh, scribbly swirls. So your imagine can be unleashed on this and it can go as far as making all sorts of things. Again, in the Zentangle, we do not need to make just patterns or lines. You can make little cartoon characters and fill up your page all around. And I will include a demonstration video on how to do that on the Google classroom for what's my name Zentangle assignment. So make sure to check that out. This is the last slide out of the bunch there. But um, again, that's the first assignment that we will be focusing on here in the classroom. Uh, I will show a couple of student examples. We've just gotten done with those in the physical classroom. So I'll show you a couple of those. Um, they will be turned in in black and white. And when you're done, you're more than welcome to color them if you'd like. Otherwise, again, black and white is where we're staying for these. Um, but again, uh, that is my small explanation on that first project. If you ever have any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me with anything, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I know this is kind of a hard project to start off with first, but I know you can do it. And uh, all of this is due by the end of the semester, so... Uh, please make sure you're taking your time. I will be checking in with you to make sure everything's going all right. Um, and just please try to get these done as soon as you can. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you check out the other videos I included in the classroom and enjoy your doodling.